Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a flip through of Uncommonly Cute Animals by Jen Racine. When I saw this cover, I had to get it. I didn't even know what was in it, but I was like, I need to get it because it has this adorable little axolotl on the front and I just, I had to, I had to. So again, this one, this one doesn't say how many pages are in here, but I'm guessing 40 because um, the first flip through I did had 40 and these are about the same thickness. So possibly 40, possibly less. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. But this book is so dang cute. So all of the pages have, you know, an uncommonly cute animal. And then it tells you the name of the animal and it tells you um, where it lives and a little fact about it, which I think is so incredible. I think it's great. So this is the pygmy three-toed sloth. It lives on Isla, Escu I Isla Escuro de Verag Veraguas. I don't know. I'm so bad at pronouncing things. Uh, a small island off the coast of Panama, also called the monk sloth or dwarf sloth. This is the cover picture. This is the axolotl, also called the Mexican walking fish. I did not know that. Lives in Lake uh, Xochimilco and Lake Chalco in the Valley of Mexico. It's an amphibian. Neo neotenic salamander. This is the eye eye, native to Madagascar, also known as a long fingered lemur. Doesn't it kind of look like a little baby Zabumafu? This is the potu bird. These things in real life are so weird looking. I mean, they're kind of weird looking in the picture. I mean, like cute in a weird way. I guess that's why it's in this book, but they're so they're just strange looking birds. They're just weird. They're like, they're so big too. Like they're bigger than you. Th they're like the size of a large owl, at least the one I saw, or I guess like a medium sized owl. I don't know, but they're like fluffy and it's just, they're weird. <laughs> but I don't know how to pronounce their name. Potu, I guess, uh, found in Central and South America related to the frog mouth bird. Flapjack octopus. This is so cute. A type of umbrella octo a type of umbrella octopuses. Is that a typo? A type of umbrella octopuses. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> Have been found in ocean. Yeah, I don't I don't know. There's some, there's some grammatical errors in here, but if that, it's fine. I got it for the coloring. So have been found in, uh, the ocean near coast of California and Japan or oceans, I guess. I don't know. Again, there's some spelling or typos or grammatical errors or something. This is a capybara, the largest rodent in the world. And it lives in South America. The desert rain frog. It sounds like a squeaky toy. That's fun. It's also called the Bollinger's short-headed frog. <laughs> Lives in sand dunes near the ocean in uh, Namibia and South Africa. This is an echidna, also called spiny anteaters, native to Australia, Tasmania, and New Guinea. This is a fennec fox, smallest of the canids dogs. Oh, so he's a small dog. Lives in Northern Africa in the Sahara Desert. A blobfish. Oh my gosh. So there's, um, what is her name? Danny Buttons. If you watch Danny Buttons, you're on YouTube. She does coloring videos. She loves blobfish. This would be a good page for her. I don't know if she's, I don't know if she has this book or if she's colored it before, but there's a page for her. Uh, this is, let's see, part of the sculpin family of fish, also called fathead, found in deep waters around Australia and New Zealand. 
the Illipica. Oh, it's cute. Found in mountains of Northwest China. Oh, there's no fact about this one, except for the where it lives. Japanese dwarf flying squirrel. Glides from tree to tree. Lives on Honshu and Kyushu. Kyushu? Kyushu? I don't know. Islands in Japan. Rests in holes in trees during the day. A clip springer. These things are so trippy. I think most zoos have these. Uh, every zoo I've ever been to has had a clip springer, like has had clip springers. These things are so freaky. <laughs> they, um, they stand so still. And then before you know it, they like, they move, like they stand, they stand so still, they don't look real. And then they move and it trips you out. And yeah, at least it does for me. Um, let's see. It's a very small antelope, also known as a clip bok, found in Eastern and Southern Africa. This one is so cool looking. I can't wait to color this one. This is the leafy sea dragon, closely related to seahorses and pipefish, lives along the southern and western coasts of Australia. This is the long-eared Jerboa, Jerboa, I don't know. Looks like a mouse with huge ears and hops like a kangaroo. Lives in China and Mongolia. A margay or margai, I'm not sure. Also called a tree ocelot, lives in Central and South America. Patagonian Mara, also called Patagonian Cavi, lives in open areas of Argentina, including Patagonia, a part of the rodent family. <laughs> a pink fairy armadillo. I might end up having to actually color this pink and, and put glitter and stuff on it because it's called a pink fairy armadillo, even though I'm pretty sure in real life they're not pink or glittery. I mean, I don't know. I can look that up, but I don't know. I don't know. Probably not glittery though. <laughs> also called a pichisiego. Pichisiego? I don't know. Lives in the plains of central Argentina. Platypus. Totally unique egg-laying mammal. Also called the duck-billed platypus. Native to eastern Australia, including Tasmania. Banded piglet squid, this is so weird looking, lives in deep sea water worldwide, a cephalopod like other squid. The Angora rabbit, these ones are so cute. Originally from Turkey, there are many types, English, French, German, giant, satin, Chinese, Finnish, Japanese, Korean, Russian, St. Lucian, and Swiss. The quokka, quokka, I'm guessing. They are marsupials, so oh. lives on some of the smaller islands on the coast of Western Australia. Why does Australia have all the cool animals? Like almost all of these animals live in Australia. Sand cat, also called the sand dune cat, lives in the deserts of North Africa and Central Asia. A sparkle, sparkle muffin spider. <laughs> when I saw this, when I saw this for the first time, I, um, I told my husband, I was like, well, somebody definitely let their five-year-old daughter name their new discovery because it's a sparkle muffin spider. Yeah. <laughs> a jumping spider, a species of peacock spider, lives in the Wandul Range National Park in southern Queensland, Australia. I don't think I could ever live in Australia. The amount of spiders and the size of those spiders in Australia, I just couldn't. I don't mm. <laughs> Star-nosed mole. Their noses have 25,000 sensory receptors. Jeez. In the world, is the world's fastest eating animal? That's weird. Lives in moist, low areas in the northern parts of North America. Sunda Kolugo. I did not pronounce that right. Also called the Sunda flying lemur. Found, it kind of looks like a bat, doesn't it? I mean, I guess that's why it's called flying, because it's got, like, the webbed arms. Found throughout throughout Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia, Vietnam, Burma, and Singapore. A sun bear, the smallest of all bears, lives in the tropical forests of Southeast Asia. A tarsier, a small leaping primate, lives on various islands of Southeast Asia, including the Philippines. 
I have seen one of these things. The I feel like their eyes look even bigger than this in person. Like their eyes are gigantic. Venezuelan poodle moth. <laughs> that is so cool. Has only been seen one time. I wonder if that's still true. Lives in southeastern Venezuela. That is crazy. Only seen one time. A wombat. They're marsupials. Lives in southern and eastern Australia, including Tasmania. And that is the last page in here. And then, of course, you have your blank page in the back where you can uh, test different uh, media. But yeah, that is it. That is Uncommonly Cute Animals Coloring Book by Jen Racine. I stink and love it so much. <laughs> I cannot wait to color it. Oh my gosh. I just want all of her books. I want all of uh, that. I'm going to collect all her books. That's what I'm going to do because they are all so cute. Like here's a whole bunch of them and I don't own any of the ones on this little advertisement page right now. So I've got a lot to catch up on. Luckily they're pretty affordable. I think they're only, I mean, they're not like the most affordable. I think they're about like $6, but in my opinion, completely worth it. Um, so I really want this astrology cats one and the jackalope and the, I actually really want the national parks one. I think that's really cool. I don't know. I want all of them. <laughs> anyway, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye.